Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be taking a close look at this awesome Johnny Lightning military diecast and it is the World War II M16 half track, part of the Greatest Generation World War II Allied Victory line and this is one of the limited versions because it has the mud weathering effect on the side whereas the, the standard release just comes in military green and black camouflage but look at this, absolute beautifully detailed so it's just a pity that they're working that this track doesn't work um because the front wheel very smooth but overall as a display piece you're not going to get much better at this scale and size okay on for a closer look as there's quite a lot of details it's hard to see what's metal and what's plastic so uh, the main chassis is metal, these guns are all plastic and everything here is as well, like this, this part here, this part and the front here and then up to this front of the, like this grill section, that's metal but the rest here going round under is plastic as well as the half track. Let's take a look at the packaging. So Johnny Lightning, parent company is Round 2. They also are responsible for Auto World. So you can see the packaging, they're very similar. They've always got these facts and the way they lay everything out graphically is pretty much the same. So here we've got the Greatest Generation World War II Allied Victory Series. And on the side, let's have a look at these facts. So, yep, yeah, this is about the vehicle itself. Historically accurate colour and markings, awesome metal body chassis and moving tracks. So that'd be cool to see when I open this up. Limited edition, this is the mud version with the dirty marks here. One of 2,720. Great facts. Developed from the M3 personnel carrier. The M16 filled the need for a mobile anti-aircraft vehicle and we can see some guns in the back here let me just get this here the m16s now the m16s m2 hb.50 caliber m45 quad mount could fire up to 2300 rounds per minute earning it the nickname meat chopper <laughs> well Fair enough, I mean, damn. So this is old school, like, vehicle, uh, very powerful, and um look forward to having a look inside. So this is version B, release one, quite simply, World War II M16 half-track. And I quite like military vehicles, I've got quite a lot, and... Hopefully I'm going to do some more review, uh, reviews of them soon. So on the back here, let's just zoom out. So in release one, we've got the Willys Jeep, the Dodge, WC54, GMC 6x6 ton truck, this one, and the Lee tank, and a Warhawk. So some awesome sets of of. Uh, vehicles it's a shame that they didn't have a picture of the rest of them because i imagine that they look really nice so anyway judging by this one i might have to pick up a couple of these other ones as well so also on the back we've just got this mini advert for interlocking cases and here we just got the gm all of the different brands involved in here being licensed and that's pretty much it so let's get this one opened here we are lots of details on this one so let's get straight into it so here's the front we've got a couple of white stars we've got this grill pattern on the front and we've got all this drenched in brown mud going through all kinds of uh, battle areas got a code on the side 
again more, I've got a little bit of what's that, fly tox now they said that they're working tracks but actually they're so stiff that they're not working so that's a shame and if you look underneath it looks like it's sort of being pushed inwards on both sides so I'm not sure what's happened here really it does look a bit bent which could possibly be the case but I do not want to risk breaking this um, in case you know I, I, I just want to have this as it is that's fine with me however the front wheels spin perfectly and very easily roll around so that's a bit of a shame um, anyway let's continue taking a look at these so this from the back got the star look at all this molded detail here I mean this is fantastic we've got all these like bodywork panels the contours and on here let's get to that later actually let's just look at this side first so here this time we've got a, uh, a spade you know we've got this roller thing on the front uh, I'm not that knowledgeable so maybe drop a comment below if uh, you can correct me on the roller thing at the front got a jerry can here let's look at this windscreen so it's all plastic and then we've got this cover which is also plastic and you can see it's been carefully inserted in it's quite thick but I wouldn't want to risk damaging it here are the seats inside and we have here at the back the anti-aircraft guns it's a shame that this isn't a moving part and it can rotate that would be really fun if you could just swivel it all the way around but anyway this is fantastic I mean it's very intricate it's very small and we've got this part here as well which can easily break off but it seems this plastic is reasonably strong but I don't want to test it obviously that's just a bit too risky for me but all in all this is a great display piece really fantastic there is the standard version which didn't have the mud on and it was just green and black I can see look there's my finger underneath through under the seat so here you can see right through underneath there is quite a bit of detail And it's looking great what a fantastic model let's give this guy a spin on the turntable we can see if we can zoom in on this so that's going round and round It's actually in the middle I'm not really sure how it's ended up there there we go so yeah if you're interested in military vehicles US ones this is absolutely awesome um, I'm not quite sure it's 164 scale normally uh, these brands from round two will have like true 60, 164 on it if it is and this doesn't so I think it's a little bit smaller maybe it's like 176 or something like that but it's not too far off and it looks brilliant so yeah, let me know what you think of Johnny Lightning as a brand what are your favorite Johnny Lightning models or military models and if you enjoyed this review do like and subscribe until the next video take care